Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today, we're looking at Ethereum and its flipping potential. I want to give you the condensed version of why I think Ethereum has the very strong potential to flip Bitcoin. So I'm going to use that and compare it to other charts and some of the big fundamental reasons for Ethereum. Like I said, this is the condensed version. So strap yourself in, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, hit all so that you see all the content come through onto your YouTube feed. Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, ratiogang.com. All we're looking for here is a flip of the Ethereum market cap uh, to the Bitcoin market cap. For us to get to that flip, we need 0.16% of the ETH to BTC value. All right, I'm speaking quite slowly here because sometimes this is still new for a lot of people. If it's not, put me on fast speed. We want to get to this point here. And at the moment, with Bitcoin's current price of 44800 we need an Ethereum price of 7200 So we should be at least here because there's so much being built on ETH. We should be at least half of Bitcoin's value, or at least that's the idea here. It has been 92 days since our all-time high, and the percentage from the all-time high is about 28% from our $4,357 all-time high. So I think we can get there. I think ETH will flip BTC. And if it doesn't, then I've still got my BTC as well. And they're both going to be increasing in fiat value. So as an investment, this is low risk in a in the crypto space. And I think high reward when I compare it to traditional investments. When you compare it to cryptocurrencies that boom 100x or 50x, of course, it's low reward. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to your own personal plan and how much you have invested and what your overall goals are, which is what I'll also mention at the end of the video. So stick around for that. Let's look at it on the chart. I've gone through and done a macro view. I'll throw the candles on so we have some color to look at rather than white bars. We have colored candles. And essentially, the the idea here and what we want to see if the cryptocurrency we're invested in is increasing in value against Bitcoin is that it, we want to see an overall upwards trend. Sure, we get some peaks, but we want to see the crypto start to break through these peaks. So we've got a, a low, a higher low, another higher low before we took off for the next stage of the cycle. And ideally, we want to break through these peaks. And should the cycle end at some point, which I assume it will, uh, we want to see that the the chart against Bitcoin doesn't come back and break down beneath the previous lows. I'll show you an example of what we don't want to see. Litecoin. Litecoin is what we don't want to see. Now, this has nothing to do. I know I need to say this almost every time because it seems to be that some people get offended. Like if you're talking about their project like it's bad, uh, it stirs up their emotions. This is your money, not your emotions. Chill out. So what we don't want to see is lower highs, and then lower lows. So you can see these did hold up, but this was within that cycle, and then eventually it started to fail uh, yet again. And I I think, and what I'm playing, the way I'm playing my money is that this will continue to break down if Bitcoin goes on the next stage of the bull market. If Bitcoin takes off against the US dollar value, then the Litecoin BTC chart will probably continue to get crushed against BTC value. Now, another chart which is kind of up, kind of down, and people want me to mention this crypto, and I'll show them why I don't invest in it. This is XRP. So XRP has some great trading ranges, this is against Bitcoin, but eventually it pretty much comes back to where it was. So was this a good investment against Bitcoin? No, the, the facts literally show you here that it might be almost the same price as what it was five years ago back in 2016. So we have a 2000 Satoshi value. It was 2000 Satoshis back in March of 2016. So it really hasn't gone anywhere. If you just bought it and held it, you would have just been better off holding, buying and holding Bitcoin because it's the same price here. The reason being you'd buy Bitcoin is because it has uh, less risk than a company that has a CEO and uh, they're exposed to the SEC and they could be sued like we're seeing here. Doesn't mean that this won't have great gains, but at the end of the day, we want to see the 
uh, crypto trend higher against Bitcoin overall. So I hope you can see the difference in all of these charts. And this is just looking at your investment, looking at your money and where it sits. And that's why I'm looking at ETH as a flipping to Bitcoin. If you have a chart like this with some data, you know, we need at least sort of five years. Let us know in the comments down below. Hit us in the comments. If there is another cryptocurrency that is working its way higher against Bitcoin, definitely let us know because I, I'm no maxi for Ethereum or for Bitcoin. I just want my money to be in the safest place to be gaining me the most amount of money long term. The other thing that I note here is we've got Bitcoin, NFT, Ethereum. So Google Trends. Now we're going to look at some of the fundamentals that are pushing ETH in that direction. ETH has been seeing higher lows. We're getting a bit higher. We're starting to get a bit more interest in uh, Ethereum and of course NFTs as well, which are on Ethereum. Bitcoin also doing that thing. It's moving up and we want to see the whole space move together, at least the majors like this. This is probably three of the biggest. Probably you could throw DeFi in there. You could throw Cardano in there, Dogecoin. But these are the biggest words that you would hear in cryptocurrency if you asked uh, someone outside of the space that probably have heard of NFT and they probably would have heard of Bitcoin. Ethereum, maybe that is where we're going with it. So it's kind of like one of those earlier stage cryptos, although if you're in the space, it seems pretty late, but it might be one of those earlier stage cryptos for someone that's outside of the space. Now, like I said, this is the condensed version. So if you want to go into more detail of these particular ideas, definitely check out the other videos on the channel or start to search the news as well. New Ethereum ETF proposal seeking SEC's approval. This just came out today, but it's uh, news that's been known as well. Cryptoin has uh, filed for an ETF, which they have amended from a Bitcoin ETF when the SEC rejected it, rejected it back in 2019. So Venek has also filed a proposal to launch an Ether ETF. So it looks like we'll have some ETH ETFs coming out. This is just some of the big stuff to get more of the big money into Ethereum. And so if we get that big money into Ethereum, that gives us another chance to be flipping Bitcoin. So the next big thing is NFTs. Most of these NFTs are on Ethereum. This is just racking up more and more fees. It's racking up more eyeballs to Ethereum. It's racking up eyeballs to the products, the dApps that are on Ethereum as well. 400 ETH to buy uh, one of these Bored Ape Yacht Clubs, number 3,749, 1.29 million. So there's a lot of transactions. There's a lot of uh, work being done on ETH, obviously in the NFT space. Uniswap became the first protocol to surpass 1 billion in fees. So this is combined fees from version two and version three. Combine those together. We've just capped out at $1 billion. You've also got Axie, so uh, NFT gaming dApp on Ethereum, 308 million in platform fees for over the past 30 days. That's about $10 million a day. That's for the platform fees. That's just one game that's managed to find popularity in this market. It's Axie Infinity, surging Ethereum powered game, Axie Infinity. So we've got the ETFs. We've got the search trends and cryptocurrency getting into the mainstream. We can see that over here. Crypto is no longer in the early adoption stage, Bittrex Global says. So we're seeing double digit percentage adoption in both developed and developing countries. And we can see that, say, from the Google search trends. This, I think, anyway, with what I'm betting on is that this is going to continue increasing as well. We also have the fees being burned. So we have less Ethereum in the space as well. So you've probably seen this as the London hard fork came in last week. More ETH is getting burned. So eventually, and you probably heard it as well, some might say that Ethereum might become deflationary and that would then put it in front of Bitcoin, meaning that Bitcoin is still inflationary at the moment. We know that there is six and a quarter Bitcoin being mined every 10 minutes. And so if ETH somehow uh, starts to uh, burn more than they're actually producing, so the net issuance here so far is 66,600, they've burned 35,800, then we want to see this get to around 100%. So the net reduction would be 100. And that means everything that's being produced is then being burnt as well. And that would be a net zero point for ETH. So that is some of the big pieces. On top of that, you've also got DeFi. And I didn't even go deep into DeFi at all. This is just high level, the major points that we are seeing on Ethereum to make it uh, one of those projects that could uh, flip Bitcoin. The main thing that I like to go back to often is, of course, the charts. 
I'll remind you again, if you do see a chart like this, let me know in the comments down below. That is pretty much what you don't want to see in your cryptocurrency over a long period of time. And I've just chosen cryptos which have a long history. If you've got something that's over five years, definitely paste it down below. XRP is kind of up. You could trade it for some more Bitcoin and back down to where it began. ETH, on the other hand, is up and up and up. So this is the target to break through so that we can continue to make higher highs and higher lows. That's an uptrend. So with all that being said, and I'm seeing ETH as the project that could flip Bitcoin and become that name brand in the, in domestic homes. We've got Bitcoin, we've got Ethereum, maybe even Dogecoin in there. What would you do with your investment? And are you looking forward to generational wealth and planning for your family? I bring this up because I posted this just yesterday on Twitter. You have a million dollars to invest for 50 years. You can't touch the investment. So you can't touch it till 2071. What would you invest in? real estate, Bitcoin, or both. Now, it's just a bit of a game as well. And some people say, you know, maybe you're seriously bored. Maybe I am. Most of us will be in dead or have no use for the money. I, look, I just suggest maybe looking at things in a slightly different way. And maybe you are. I just like to think about these things and say, well, my money is going to go towards my family and generational wealth, maybe their families as well. I hope you do the same. And I think cryptocurrency, ETH and Bitcoin in particular because of the trends that we're seeing have the potential to do that for us now. Don't brush this off. Don't gamble with it. Don't play around with it. That's my opinion on the, the space. If you need to gamble and we know we like to speculate on some small altcoins, personally, my view, you don't have to take it on board, is to be stacking the Ethereum and the BTCs. That is my view for this particular reason generational wealth for my families. And I hope you guys also have that in mind for your families or for yourself. You just want to have fun, whatever it is you want to do, think about stacking it for the future. And speaking of family, you can go and check out my brother's channel, Michael Pizzino. He goes into more detail looking at Wyckoff analysis on ETH and Bitcoin in today's video, seeing where the whales are buying and selling using the volume analysis. So I'll leave the details down below. If you found that valuable, let me know. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter for updates and Q&A. There's still a special on the Investor Accelerator. You can find a link to that down below as well. Learn how to trade and invest in crypto and build your portfolios. As I mentioned earlier on, that is my high level view of why I think ETH is flipping Bitcoin. It has one of the best potentials. The chart is the big thing I look at. You guys know that. I look at technical analysis because that gives me a really good overview of what's going on in the market space rather than having to keep up with all of the news. Once you get the idea of the headlines and understand what it's about, say for London hard fork and the ETH burning, you basically understand what that means and that is in play for forever in this case until or unless they change that fundamental basis of ethereum that's it for today's video make sure you've hit the like and subscribe i'll see you at the next one until then have more fun to get more done